Okay, today we're talking about using the 1873 Colt or Colt copies for a self-defense weapon. Will they work for a self-defense weapon? Well, they have since 1873. The main difference between this and a modern firearm is mainly the speed at which you can reload it because you got to do several things. You got to cock the hammer, you got to open the loading gate, and then you got to eject the shells out of the cylinder one at a time. Of course, you can do it fairly fast if you're good at it and not holding it awkward like this so you can see, but it's that part's slower. It's not really that much slower if you was to draw this out of a, a holster and cock it back to get it on target for the first shot. However, um, after the first shot, it could be quite a bit slower, especially if you're shooting it single-handed. But as you see nowadays, almost everybody shoots double-handed or two-handed. And they get in these stances. Some of them do weird stuff like this. But any which way, if you're doing this like that, it's, this is going to be just as fast as a semi-automatic for the first shot. Now, after that, you're gonna have, you're gonna need to get practice doing it like they do in a cowboy action, cocking it with your off hand like that, because it's faster than reaching this thumb up to cock it. So we're gonna check it out and see just how fast we can uh, reasonably shoot without a lot of practice, and get out to the range and fire this at two plates, one below the other, kind of like you're doing one shot to the chest and one to the head and just kind of simulate how fast or slow it fires. We're going to be using this one which is the Taylor Arms uh, short stroke gunfighter model single piece stock and also going to fire this Ruger Bisley Becquerel 45 Colt. It can hold six rounds because it doesn't have a, ha a firing pin on the hammer. Has a transfer bar safety, which you can see this one has a firing pin on the hammer, and it's only safety to keep it from going off is you got to push this pin right here into a, the next click, and then it will not let the hammer fall all the way down because you see the little gap there. Let me pop that pin out to the next notch and you can see that now it can fall all the way down. So see, if you push this pin in to that notch, this hammer, watch right there, cannot go all the way down. So the firing pin cannot strike the, firing, uh, the uh, primer. So, but that's way too slow. If you're going to, you know, need to get to your gun and shoot it, you're not going to want to be fiddling with the, the uh, cylinder pin. This is called a single action because it requires you to cock the hammer and then you can pull the trigger. A double action, you pull the trigger, that cocks the hammer and releases the hammer. This trigger only does one function, it releases the hammer. And it, we're going to go one shot per plate. Uh, and see what kind of disadvantage it is to use a single action compared to like a semi-auto loader. quick as we can without missing hopefully.
that. Let's shoot that board right there. 